What's up guys and welcome back to another story time video. So a couple days ago I did a poll and I asked which you guys would rather see the um, uh, rudest waitress I've ever had or the time I accidentally broke the door handle of my mom's car. And currently at the moment um, the poll is actually tied 50-50 so um, I don't really know which one to do I guess and since it's been tied for a bit so I'm gonna I guess I'll tell both stories I'll tell uh, one of them today and then another one whenever I have a chance so basically the story I'm gonna be telling you guys first is about the rudest waitress <coughs> excuse me that I've ever had and this happened about um, shit I was like 14 I think happened when I was about 14 years old and I'm pretty sure we were at this restaurant. It was called the Eggville Cafe. And by the way, if you have them near you guys, don't eat there. They freaking suck. They're not. They're just generic ass breakfast food. They're not very good at all. Um, and even people I know who <coughs> fucking used to work there have said that they didn't like it. I have literally people at my school who they um, basically they they worked there and everything, and they literally hated the food there. Which I mean. I can't really fathom that, to be honest, since that would be like if I worked at Domino's and I, I didn't like fucking pizza. So, yeah, I just don't really understand how... Okay, there's a fly over there or something. I just don't really understand how somebody can literally work for a, a restaurant and not like their food. It makes no sense. I could just imagine um, somebody asking them, what's your favorite food here? And they're like fucking Squidward. I hate everything. They just hate all the food that's there. So it really just defeats the purpose. Just really makes no sense um, to me why they'd be working there. So anyways, um, what happened was, pretty sure this is from the person who was next to us and everything, not next to us, who um, they were before us and everything. Um, they had left, I guess, a quarter on the table for the um, waitresses, I don't know, for um, her tip or something, and I guess she just didn't take it. So what they ended up doing was, I guess, um, the waitress, when she saw it, she thought it must have been for, like, bringing her drinks so fast or something. I really don't know. Because she just took the quarter and then said, thank you. And I was just like, wait, what? Thanks for what? We didn't do anything. So then um, I guess I just think my dad said, oh, it's probably because of that quarter. She probably thought that was from us and everything. So then after that... Um, we got our food, and she was just kind of standing there awkwardly, just like, like, literally like that. She was just, like, standing there fucking awkwardly, just, um, it's like this one fucking vine. I mean, I can't play a clip of it right now because, you know, I don't have an editor at the moment that I can use, but it was just this fucking clip, like, where I think it was, like, the UPS guy stays there too long, and he was just, like, after the, the lady took her package, so that's kind of what it reminded me of. He just was standing there, and, um... The, the lady was just doing the same thing. She was, was like standing there. I'm like, what? And then I think I whispered to my dad. I'm like, I think this lady might be retarded or something. I don't, I don't know why she was freaking just standing there. Just waiting. And I was like, what are you? And I literally asked. I'm like, what are you waiting for? And she's like, oh, you know. I'm like, you waiting for me to try the food? Mmm, it's good. Like, fucking fuck off now. Let me eat my shit. And, um, I guess she just stood there and she's like, you know what I'm waiting for? It's like, I don't know what you're waiting for. And then she just was like, do I have to, and then I think she's literally like, do I have to spell it out for you? I'm like, I don't understand, please. And then she just left and everything. And then it's like, dang, that waiter, I mean, waitress was really, really rude. And I just mean, she probably wanted another tip is essentially what she wanted. Usually... You give somebody a tip after your meal. It's weird to give them a tip in the middle of your meal. It doesn't make any sense. So I guess after that, she just um, went back to her kitchen and everything and probably made fun of me to the workers. And by the way, that is something that workers do um, when they work at a restaurant. They will make fun of you if you're a bad customer. Sometimes they'll just make fun of you in general, I guess, because they're weird. Or at least that's what I did in Domino's. Every time, like, you know, a customer did something stupid, I was like, we get a load of this guy. So, you know, I imagine she was doing the same thing. So then after that, 
um, she, I was just thinking, yeah, I'm not really going to tip her. I mean, I said to my dad, I'm like, I don't think we should tip her. My dad was thinking, well, we're still going to tip her. But usually you tip um, waiter, waitress, whoever, fucking massage therapist, whoever um, ends up giving you your service, I guess, and where they're a job that works for tips. Um, generally, you should give them like 20, 25%. My dad decided he would still tip her. He gave her like 5%, I guess, which is kind of a shit tip. But I mean, she should be lucky that she got one at all, I guess, because, you know, sometimes it's just a bad tip and everything. And I guess she should just be lucky she got one at all, to be honest. Um, so then after that, like, next thing I know, she literally had followed us out of the restaurant and everything was saying, like, well, why'd you guys give me a, such a crap tip? And I was just like, okay, it's one of those things where tipping, you should tip somebody, but it's actually 100% optional. So if you really don't want to, you don't have to tip them. So... Like, you shouldn't expect a tip from um, whatever place you're working at. You shouldn't expect it. Like, sometimes you can be like, well, I think in your head, well, what a scumbag if they don't tip you. But it's just something you shouldn't really, you know, expect. So then after that, she basically just followed us and everything was just like, what is wrong with you? Why are you following us? And um, then I think next time we came back, um, we had literally talked to the manager and I think... Um, they either gotten that person reprimanded, which I don't fucking remember what that means. Written up, maybe. I don't really remember what reprimanded means. But um, she got in trouble, I guess, for what she was doing. And, yeah, that is pretty much um, the end of that. So this um, waitress was really rude and everything and just um, thought we were supposed to infinitely tip her and all that as if um, it's a GTA 5 infinite money glitch, you know. So, all right, so that is the end of that one. So... I guess I'll tell you guys the next story um, about how I accidentally broke the door handle of my mom's car whenever I have a chance. So I'll see you guys next time.